Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the market went this past week and where we think the market's going in this coming week. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, so if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time, I became profitable, and I believe that you will if you're not yet already. You just have to stick with it. Create a trading plan, follow your rules, build a discipline, and over time you'll make less and less mistakes and follow your trading plan diligently to become consistently profitable. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're gonna take a look at ES and NASDAQ on the weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, all the way down to that 15 minute. Do a top down analysis uh, from high time frame to low time frame and just take a look at what I, what I see and just basically voice where I think the market's gonna go and why. So yes, obviously on the daily chart, you can see we've been selling off and uh, all I have on the chart here is about a 50 day moving average and a Fib retracement from the highs we put in to the current lows. And you'll see that we have already sold off, I think it was about 3%, 4% about from top to bottom. We tagged the 50 day moving average. Previously in other bull markets, when we tagged the 50 day, we usually bounce and actually continue higher. Uh, we can go back to about 2021. You'll see back in 2021, uh, typical bull market action is every time we get to the 50 day, maybe we go below for a day or two, but then we pop back up and we keep going higher, keep trending higher, keep keep trending higher, keep trending higher. We tag it and we go back up, we keep trending higher. Then obviously a bear market comes along. Uh, this is about 2022 and boom, we start pushing below, breaking below, holding below and trending below. If you believe we're in a bull market starting from about beginning of 2023, then you would see this as a buying opportunity. We may go down below this for a day or two, but then pop back up and continue to trend higher. So that's the first point I just wanted to cover. Second point I wanted to cover is, let's say you are bearish uh, and you think that we're gonna go even lower. Here is a support to the left here, okay? So we've been putting in these higher swing lows and we kind of rocketed up, but now we're trading back into some support here to the left. So it's reasonable to expect a, a bounce in the coming week. And if we expect a bounce and you're still bearish, the question is how far do you think the bounce is gonna go before continuing lower? So I personally believe great spot for longs right now because we're around the 50 day, there's support to the left, we came down below 4,500. And even if you're bearish, uh, you can take a long into a 50% retracement or a 618. So I personally think that we'll actually get up into around the 6, 618 retracement. ES is likely to be a little stronger than NASDAQ in, in the coming weeks. So that's why I have the 618 here. I think potentially in this coming week now, for the middle of August, we'll actually trend up and we'll get into uh, the 618, get to about 4560. There is a little gap here at about 4590. So we could get up into 4590. And I do think we're actually gonna go lower into uh, the end of August and, se and September, all the way into October. And I think that we may just get to the 618 and then come back down and start trading back down into uh, around 4300 by the end of September or into October. So this is essentially what I believe. And who knows, we'll, we'll see what actually happens, but um, I actually got in along at 4480. So if you just go down to the four hour chart now on ES, it's gonna be a little crowded, so I'm gonna delete the Fib retracement. So on the four hour chart, from left to right, you can clearly see we are still just trending lower. So based on the four hour chart right now, there's no reason to take a long. Why? Because here's a, a swing high, here is a swing high, here is a swing high, here is a swing high. You could say right here, we broke market structure to the upside, but then boom, we went right back down and we broke the swing lows and we put in another swing low. So these are just lower swing lows. We wanna see a break where we put in a higher swing high and a higher swing low. From left to right, the swing lows keep going lower. So there's no reason to enter any longs based on the four hour. I entered in a long for a combination, because of a combination of things, could get stopped out, but my average long right now is 44.80. And uh, first target is taking out these highs at 45.45. Second target is gonna be about 45.60, that 618 retracement. Uh, basically just targeting this next swing high. So I have I have stops below the lows we made. I got it at 45, 40, I got it at 44.80, like I said. Uh, tight stops just below the lows we made on Friday. And then first target is right here about 45.45. 45. 
right? Great 2.6 to 1R. Uh, ultimate target is about 3 to 1R. It's getting above here at uh, 45.60. So that's long I'm in on ES. Now let's break it down to the one hour chart. The reason why I got in this long is because of one thing I saw in the one hour chart that I liked. We put in this bottom here and we, we had a nice push up. We kind of took out these swing highs and then we came down and we made higher swing lows and we kind of trended up all day. The way this structure is set up here, I really believed that we would take out the 44.93. I thought we'd take it out at the end of the day on Friday, but we didn't, we kind of chopped around. So what I'm expecting is on Monday, us to push above the 44.95. Realistically, once we're above those levels, then it's, I can have more confidence that on a retracement, you can add to the long, keep the stops below this swing low, and then target these highs. That's safer than what I got in. I kind of got in on an early long on the one hour there. But let's go down to the 15 minute because the 15 minute is what I liked the most. Now on the 15 minute, clearly you can see we dumped down early Friday, pushed up, boom, broke, market structure to the upside. This is very clear now on the 15 minute. And then we just retraced back into the fair value gap and we had some trading here. So, you know, this is accumulation. This looks clearly like accumulation. So they're accumulating orders to then push up and break these highs. That's why I got in the long at 44.80, stops being below there. And then I expect us on Monday to push up, uh, first target being about 44.95, getting above these highs, this liquidity, and then continuing higher up to about 45.40. That is ES broken down from the daily all the way down to the 50 minute. Before I move on, let's just wrap it up by taking a look at ES on the weekly chart. So just look, ES on the weekly chart is still bullish because you have a swing low here in March, higher swing low, higher swing low, higher swing low, higher swing low, higher swing low. So this is still a higher swing low. We didn't break this low down at 4407. If we did, then obviously we would be more cautious and we would think, hey, maybe we are gonna trend lower. But for now, this looks like we're coming out to support and it's fair to assume we're at least gonna have a, a nice push up above this wick to about 45.60. I don't know how much higher we go than 45.60, but 45.60 is, is my target. I think we're gonna get there and then trend back lower. And, and that's about 80 points for me on ES. Uh, I know about five contracts in, so five contracts on 80 points is a $20,000 profit. So I think we'll hit that this week and could be a nice 20K trade, uh, but let's wait and see what happens. All right, now taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart, clearly we can see that this looks a lot more bearish than ES. You can see we had a uh, higher swing low right here, left to right, higher swing low, higher swing low, higher swing low, broke this swing low on the daily, and then actually just barely took out these swing lows down here. So on ES, right here, we're basically at support, but on NQ, we kind of dipped below and broke the support. So this means that NASDAQ is a lot worse off for longs and uh, shorts are more in favor, clearly, but ES is holding up stronger. So similar idea, you know, we've, we've now fallen uh, just from here down, we've fallen about five and a half percent on NASDAQ with no retracement. So you, you kind of want to think, all right, even if you're bearish, we're probably going to get a re retracement this week, especially if what we're seeing with the market structure on ES as well. And I'll show you VIX too, but Basically, let's say you're bearish, right? You don't want to get in a short here, obviously. We're just, there's no reason to short now. You want to get in on a retracement. So 50% would be your best bet if you wanted to short on a retracement. And I think we'll get there, but I don't think we'll get much higher because again, NASDAQ's been weaker than ES. So even if, we, even if we're really bearish, I think that we'll likely get up into about 15,470 before continuing lower. So I'm expecting this week for us to bounce up one or 2% on NASDAQ, nothing crazy, and then kind of roll over and continue lower into the same time period, about September or October. So if we just drew it out, this is kind of, I'm thinking, we could dip below this low we made on Friday on Monday or early week, we could dip below, trend up, kind of get to that 50%, but then roll over into the end of August and then into September down into uh, October, getting down to the low 14,000 area. Very simple, probably just get down into here, about 14,200 into 14,400. Basically, I think we'll get down to here at some point, early October or end of September, um, anywhere from about 14,400 to about 14,200, and that would mark a total of about a 10% correction on the NASDAQ, 
and that would be normal that would be healthy still because we just went up so much in the nasdaq so we could we could do something like this but obviously we don't want to get any shorts even if we are bearish right now we want to wait for a retracement i'm not going to get any longs on nasdaq i'm just going to wait on the sidelines because again looks bearish we took out the swing lows so no reason to really get in long there but i am in the es longs so let's delete some of this and now let's go to the weekly chart and see how that looks on the weekly chart um similar you know we are kind of around support here to the left but it just looks weaker than yes so you know if we do get below about 14,800 based on the weekly again no reason why we don't get into about 14,200 before continuing higher because we just went up too much too soon so I think we'll get down to those low 14,000 area into around uh, September, October before continuing higher. On the four hour chart, again, since the highs, we've seriously just been going down. So, you know, we have a lower swing low, lower swing low, lower swing low, lower swing low, and lower swing low. And then the bounce on Friday in near the close was even weaker than on ES. So clearly again, just quite weak on the NASDAQ. Um, bring it down to the one hour, same idea. You know, this one hour just kind of wicked up into the resistance to the left, came down. But then we had a little bit of accumulation, similar on Friday. You know, this accumulation makes me think that next week we want to push above the 15,200 area based on the one hour. But we'll wait and see. Uh, I do, I remember on the 15 minute. Yeah, so even on the 15 minute, um, it didn't look that great because we just pushed up into the resistance to the left, came down middle, another lower low, pushed up. And then we made a higher low. Boom, broke structure to the upside on Friday near the near the end there. So that makes me think that we want to target this 15,180 before taking out these lows. So obviously, you know, potential long setup here, getting in at about 15,100, putting the stops below the swing lows and then targeting this first wick. So, you know, this is just about a one-to-one. -one. Nothing, nothing I want to take really on the NASDAQ. So Staying away from longs on the NASDAQ. I've been taking a lot of intraday trades on ES on the three minute chart. I'll show you a few of those trades in a moment, but before I show you that, I just wanna show you the VIX and the dollar. VIX, I have a, a, an alert here down because I think that we're gonna fill this gap. If you just take a look at the VIX on the daily chart, we had a big push up. We chopped around, looks like we were basing for like a bull flag that we're gonna push even higher. But then we did it on Friday, boom, big hammer, rejection on the VIX. VIX and uh, ES and NASDAQ are inverse. So when volatility goes down, they go up. This is a clue, in my opinion, that we're gonna push down early next week. And um, once we push down early next week on the VIX, fill this gap, get to just below 14. That's when we'll have that bounce on ES and NASDAQ. That's why I'm in the longs on ES. So I think we'll get down there, but we'll probably find support at about 14 and then cycle back up and make another higher high on VIX. And that's when we'll push even lower on ES and NASDAQ. Getting down to about 4,400 on ES potentially and uh, about 14,500 potentially on NASDAQ. But again, those are targets for that are, that are weeks out. I think this week will be bullish, especially the first half of those week, this week. If you're looking for longs on ES and NASDAQ, then the DXY is concerning because clearly we had this aggressive fall, pushed up, you know, so far we're realistically just coming into resistance to the left, but like just, you know, look, we have a, a higher swing low. We pushed up, got rejected, made a higher swing low, pushed up, and then we had a fake out. So we went down, took a bunch of liquidity, and then just pushed up and finished strong. So this clearly looks like we obviously want to push for this 103.6 area. And when we do that, NASDAQ will obviously fall. So we will be keeping an eye on DXY, but that's also why NASDAQ looks like a great short opportunity in the coming weeks after we get a good bounce. So if you're looking to get in shorts on NASDAQ, we want to wait for a 50% retracement before getting in those shorts and then targeting the lows. Yes, though, I do like it better for longs. And um, yeah, I'm basically gonna keep taking longs until we break this swing low at 44.10. If we break this swing low at 44.10, then I'll probably shift my bias to short bias, but ES still still keeping a long bias. Here's an example of a couple longs I took this week on ES, and this is on the three minute chart. So basically, I was watching market structure and uh, you know, let's say Wednesday we were watching and I wanted to keep a long bias, but we just trending down all day on Wednesday. So I waited until we broke market structure to the upside on the three minute chart. And as you can see, it was about lunchtime. We uh, dipped below and then consolidated, pushed above this recent high. And then I got in a pullback once I could get a little more than a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. All I basically was watching was, okay, we broke structure to the upside. So we're likely gonna target the next recent swing high for liquidity. Um, that would be right up here because this is a swing high. 
So just put stops below the most recent swing low. So this is a swing low, this was a higher swing low. This was the most recent swing low before we broke market structure. Broke market structure and then once we pull back slightly, that's when I just got in on the entry. Uh, stop being below that swing low and then target being the next high. And it was a two to one risk reward ratio, about 15 points there. That was just a, a one trade I took on uh, Wednesday. And then I there was another one I had on Friday. Yeah, another one was on Friday. Uh, basically pushed down on the open and I was watching for longs. Um, once we took out the market structure, this basically this recent swing high at 9 a.m., because you can see from left to right, this is a swing high, a lower swing high, a lower swing high, and a lower swing high. This was a swing low. We pushed up, we got rejected, we put in a higher swing low, and then broke the most recent swing high. So that was my signal, okay, broke market structure to the upside, big push up in this three minute candle. So I was trying to get in halfway on this big candle. Um, got in there and then put the stop at the most recent swing low. Target was the next swing high. So up here and there's about a one one and I got 13 points there. So basically each day, intraday, I've been taking trades like that on the three minute chart and then on my swing account, I've been uh, getting into swings on ES or NASDAQ, either long or short, uh, most recently being uh, longs. And that's basically what I've been doing. So that's gonna conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Let's me know that you like these kind of videos. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one on Sunday and one on Wednesday market updates just like this and updating you know, the trades I'm in and why I'm in those trades. So if you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.